early today for the National Walk and Roll to School Day. They met at Bergstaff Place to start their 10-minute walk to school. Fox 55's Troyce Grant was right there with them. She is live outside Memorial Park tonight with more. So, Troyce, how was the walk? Yeah, Tara, the walk went by pretty quickly, like you said, all 10 minutes of it. But the reason they do, they, they do this is to show kids who don't normally walk to school a safe route to get there. And actually, in some cases, walking might be even quicker than driving to school. Glow sticks, music, and friends are all these Memorial Park students need for a fun walk to school. Megan McClellan is part of the Student Teacher Parent Association. She says that walking to school is a good way for her daughter to calm down before the school day. She has so much energy in the morning, and if she has that little bit of outside exercise, it just really helps her to focus for the whole day. That's why they took part in National Walk and Roll to School Day. And 2,500 schools nationwide are getting their exercise and helping the environment by walking to school. McCullen says walking can even be faster than carpooling. To walk, in fact, it's probably faster for the parents to stop here, drop the kids off, and go as a, and the kids walk, as opposed to having to sit in those car lines that go on forever. And during the walk, the kids get a chance to interact with their peers that they might not have met before. Hudson Hale is an eighth grader, and he walked with his cross-country team. It's kind of like walking in, like, one big group, and it's nice to be a part of something big like that. And all the students made it to class before the first bell, and the whole way to school, they, I heard them laughing and talking. So it sounded like the walk was pretty much a success. And coming up at 6 p.m., you're going to hear from the principal at Memorial Park about how they keep students safe during activities like these. Live in Fort Wayne, I am Troy Grant, Fox 55 News. All righty, Troy, thank you for that. Fort Wayne Community.